The Magic the Gathering community has long awaited and deserved a live action film or series that explores the depths of its history. Magic the Gathering is a vast multiverse full of adventure, high fantasy, and storylines that are perfect for making a leap to the big screen. Many other fantasy worlds have made the jump with success. Adaptations like Dungeons and Dragons and One Piece have recently found great success in trying their hands at a live action version of their fantasy worlds. Magic the Gathering just recently celebrated its 30th anniversary of its initial release, and with that, there would be no better time to announce a live-action feature film or streaming series. If Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast were to do one, though, that would require them to cast some of the most beloved characters in the game's multiverse. The focus would most surely be centered around the planes-jumping heroes, villains, and often main characters of the story arcs, the ultra-popular Planeswalkers. Today we're taking a look at 10 Planeswalkers who could see screen time should Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast decide that they want to take the opportunity to explore the world of live action adaptations. So without further ado, let's take and begin. Number 1. Sophie Turner as Chandra Nalar The fiery pyromancer is a fan favorite amongst those who have been following the existence of Planeswalkers in the MTG world since the beginning of time. Born on the plane of Kaladesh, she wields a powerful spark that allows her to use the destructive powers of fire. She is a somewhat young, red-haired girl with a slender build. The best choice, in my opinion, is none other than another red-haired actress who is no stranger to high fantasy roles. Sophie Turner, most recognized as Sansa Stark in Game of Thrones and Jean Grey in the X-Men series, has solidified herself as a brilliant actress with the capabilities to play complex characters. Being that she's already play a pyro power as Phoenix just makes her the perfect candidate for this spot. Number 2. Gal Gadot as Elspeth Tyrell This sword-wielding planeswalker is most known for her time spent defeating enemies in Alara, Theros, and most recently, defeating the Mother of Machines, Elish Norn. Born of the plain Nuka Penna, she looks of an armored-clad brunette with an athletic build and fierce expression on her face. Without a doubt, this character resembles another brunette female warrior who's already made a name for herself on the big screen as Wonder Woman. We're talking about Gal Gadot, who has already claimed the title as one of the best sword-wielding women in the movie industry. Her strong, athletic build paired with her brunette hair and uncanny ability to wield the sword makes her the undeniably perfect candidate to carry the role of Elspeth to the big screen. Number 3. Leave Schreiber as Garouk an axe-wielding, beast-taming monster of a man with the prowess of the most formidable hunters, this planeswalker is most known for his ferocity in anything he does. Unknownst of his plane of birth, he most notably made his existence known on the plane of Chandelar when he about ended the life of another powerful planeswalker, Liliana Vess. With a gruff and tough appearance, with a ferocious personality, the actor who came to mind to play this is none other than Lieb Schriever, who some may recognize as Sabretooth in the X-Men movies. Already familiar with roles playing savage brutes, he has an easy time personifying the traits that come with the planeswalker like Garouk. Number 4. Taylor Kish as Gideon Jura Possibly one of the most recognizable planeswalker, Gideon wields a Sorol, a powerful whip-like armor weapon that he uses alongside his shield to defend honor and justice across the multitude of planes. Born on the plane of Theros, Gideon has made allies all over the multiverse, including planes of Ravnica and Zendikar, where he is a sworn member of the Gatewatch. When casting this, I thought of someone who matches the physical and spirit of Gideon, but may be a somewhat underrated actor, and that's Taylor Kish. Most known for his role in the series Friday Night Lights, as well as movies like Lone Survivor and John Carter, Taylor personifies confidence, stern discipline, and the resolve to do what's right. He also has the acting background to play a fantasy world warrior, as his time acting in John Carter had prepared him for this style of role in a movie. Number 5. Ezra Miller as Jace Bellerin Debatably the most recognized and fan-favorite planeswalker of all time, Jace is shrouded in mystery and many conflicting character developments. Considered a villain, a hero, and an anti-hero throughout his existence, Jace is a very complex when it comes to his personality. Born to the plane Vryn, Jace wields the power of telepathy, which allows him to use powerful mind magic. The previous guardian of the guild pack during the Ravnica arc, he now is lost due to the completion during the Phyrexia All Will Be One arc. Due to the complexity of his character, I looked to someone who could pull off a wide range of expressions, as well as someone who could resemble Jace. 
In comes Ezra Miller, most known for his role as a Flash in the DC Cinematic Universe. Ezra Miller brings a wide range of talent, being able to portray multiple styles of movie roles, as well as resembling Jace's distinct facial features. Ezra would do an outstanding job balancing and bringing to life the complexity that is Jace Bellerin. Number 6. Eva Green as Liliana Vess If Jace was not the most recognized planeswalker of all time, then it's surely Liliana Vess. Her distinct persona of the darkness paired with her unique necromantic appearance makes her somewhat who will need a very special actress to bring her to life. Born of the plains' dominaria, she uses her dark magic to reanimate the dead, corrupt the living, and use death as a weapon. Her charismatic, witty, and cynical personality paired with her attractiveness makes her on par with someone who is not a stranger to those types of roles in movies. Eva Green is maybe not the first choice for most, but she is the logical choice. In most of her movie roles, she plays cynical and charismatic characters that allow her to personify a very distinct appearance and attitude. She also looks to part with a very dark look upon her face, long gorgeous black hair, and a curvy body much like Liliana Vess. Number 7, Evangeline Lilly as Nisa Ravane. Most know Nisa Ravane as the elvish planeswalker that protects her planes from the Eldrazi invasion. A protector of all things nature, she wields her power of nature to destroy anything and anyone who threatens the safety and balance of her plane of existence. Born of the plane Zendikar, Nisa leaves to protect the plane of harm while also having an on-again, off-again relationship with another planeswalker, Chandra Nalar. When casting this role, it was plain as day who I'd choose to take on this character, and it's none other than Evangeline Lilly. Evangeline, who is most recognized for her role in the TV series Lost, as well as playing an elf in the Hobbit franchise, she already has proven to be able to navigate complex, high fantasy roles, especially as an elf. Paired with her strikingly close resemblance to Nisa, she would easily be the most logical choice to carry this task of becoming Nisa Ravane. Number 8, Jared Leto as Soren Markov. The pale-skinned, white-flowing hair vampire is a fan favorite as he has had many roles across many arcs. Soren, being born of the plain Innistrad, he is the grandson of Edgar Markov, another recognizable character in the MTG multiverse. A complex character with distinct features and personality, Soren is the perfect opportunity for one of Hollywood's favorites. Jared Leto, most recognizable as the Joker in the Suicide movies, as well as the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars, he has since been able to capture some very unique and distinguished roles in Hollywood. Along with his acting abilities, his tall, slender build, long hair, and fair skin looks to make him a prime candidate to be able to sink his teeth into this role. Number 9, Kerry Washington as Vivian Reed. The arcbow-wielding huntress who weaponizes her spectral beast to defend and attack any threats makes her a fun and unique planeswalker that would be a hit on the big screen. Born of the Plains Scala, Vivian is a fierce huntress that has a confident personality when duty calls for her to action. Looking to bring this to life, I found myself looking at Carrie Washington as a very talented actress who strikes a resemblance to Vivian Reed. Her athletic build, paired with her unique hairstyle, makes her a great choice to play Vivian. With her own confident personality and acting abilities, Carrie could, without a doubt, bring this planeswalker to life. Number 10, Idris Elba as Teferi Akosa. When he's not shifting the reality of time and space, Teferi is also studying with Urza, the original planeswalker. Born of Dominaria, Teferi looks only to maintain the peace and well-being of his tribe and plan of existence. With a tall, semi-muscular build and distinct facial expressions, the fierce actor who had come to mind is Idris Elba, a talented actor who you might remember from his role in the MCU Thor movies. No stranger to fantasy roles, Idris not only looks the part of Teferi, but also could easily bring his personality and morals to the big screen. Well, that's it, everyone. We covered the 10 Planeswalkers I think could make the leap to the big screen. I decided to leave out some popular choices that were not technically human, such as Nicobolus, Vraska, Ajani, and Ashiok. Those could easily be done with the aid of CGI assistance and a green screen. I hope you all enjoyed this short video, and remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I drop new videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day.